Hello everybody. Welcome to our life together, peer-to-peer -to -peer discipleship. And uh, today we're going to talk about love. Well, relations, relationships specifically, but relationships that involve love. Because God first loved us, we love one another. Now, saying to love one another is an easy concept to grasp. But to put it into practice, wow, that's a different story. Are you, how far are you willing to go in order to put loving others into practice. Here I am in the hills above Vernon, Swan Lake behind me, I'm walking along the trails of the Great Grey Canal. Now the Grey Canal was a trail, an, an irrigation system that was built well over a hundred years ago. And it's incredible. They built over 50 kilometers of, of canals just to irrigate their orchards. They wanted to grow apples, so they did whatever it took to be able to get their water. They ended up irrigating over 20,000 acres and they had great obstacles to go through. Now we see the remains of these ancient trestles carrying water over ravines and water that flowed along just to irrigate their orchards. If they were willing to go to such great lengths to get that life-giving source of water to irrigate their apples, what are you willing to do to love? Now, to love one another, it starts with God. God first loved us. He showed us his love. He gave us Jesus. He forgave us and brought us into his family. And because of God's love, that translates into loving others. In fact, we're told, and you'll read in 1 John, that if you say you love God, but you don't love others, nope, it's impossible. Because accepting the love of God, grasping what that is, it will always translate into loving others. And so this month, as you talk together in this last series of the book, talk about the relationships that you have. What does it take to love one another? Loving one another is one of those tricky things. Easier said than done. Often our approach is just skip over the people that are harder to love. You get to know someone, maybe they rub you the wrong way, just move on. Or maybe you don't even just share the same activities of them. Oh, I have different interests and so move on, find someone else. But knowing the love of God changes how we love one another. As you talk in your groups, this month, talk about who you can choose to love. How you can say hi, you can acknowledge them, you can get to know them, you can show the love. Because our love for God is connected to love for one another. And if the people a hundred years ago went to such great lengths just to get the life-giving source of water to irrigate their orchards, what will you do to receive the life-giving power of God, His love, and translate that into loving one another. So this is the end of the book. That means that's the end of my videos. I really do hope to come visit again sometime pretty soon. Come to the island every now and then, but showing up on a Sunday is tricky as often we've got responsibilities on Monday and we're driving back to the interior. But know that I pray for you as a church. We love you guys. And uh, yeah, really look forward to seeing you again and hearing how you're loving one another.